Hi, this is Chris. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to show you how to take a whole number that's written in expanded form and convert it to its standard form. I'm actually going to do this in three different videos, a part one, part two, and a part three. Not because this is difficult, but because there are actually three different ways to write a whole number in expanded form. And how we go about this will depend on which version of expanded form that we're starting with. If the version of expanded form that you need to work with right now looks like this first number sentence, then you're on the right video. If the version of expanded form that you want to work with looks more like this, then that will be part two of this video. If the version that you're working with looks more like this number sentence on the bottom, then that will be part three of this video. And I'll put links to part two and part three on here just as soon as I have those tutorials, those videos completed. All right, let's get started. This is a very typical problem that would require you to take a number written in expanded form and change it over to standard form. And when you look at the expanded form of a number, you can see that it's really not much more than a glorified addition problem. And that's exactly how we're going to treat it. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the problem. So we'll put 40,000 plus 6,000 plus 70 plus 9. Now I'm simply going to take this number sentence that we just wrote and I'm going to write it vertically so that then I can add it up just like I would any addition problem. And I always like to start with my number on my left, my largest number, and then work to the right. So we'll take this number 40,000 and I want to make sure I keep one digit per each column. This is going to help me to keep my columns straight. And then I like to cross each one off as I go. And my next number is 6,000. And it is absolutely necessary that I have my numbers lined up along the right side, along the right column. So something I like to do to make sure that I do that is I'll come up here and I'll count zeros. 6,000 has one, two, three zeros. So I'll come down here to my right side column and I'll go one, two, three zeros and then just add my six and then cross it off. Now I'll do my 70. I'll do the same thing. 70 has one zero. So I'll put that one zero here on the right column and then go ahead and bring down that 70. Cross it off. Nine has no zeros but it's still important that I keep it aligned with that right column so it's actually going to go into the right column. So what do I have here? I have an addition problem. We'll put our addition sign there. We'll put our bar down here and then let's just work right to left. Let's go to our right column 0, 0, 0 and 9 adds up to 9. I go to my next column 0, 0 and 7 adds up to 7. Now right here I have a zero and a zero. Well, what is zero and zero? That's right, it's zero. And zero and six is six. And then here I have a four. I have nothing to add to it, so I just bring that four on down. And then we can see that our answer in standard form is 46,079. And it really is that simple, but, but I want to show you a very, very common mistake that I see a lot of people make on this type of problem. And sometimes people, they get, they get in a hurry, they get a little sloppy, and uh, they'll say, hey, I'll, I'll take the first digit in each one of these numbers, and I'll do this. I'll say, okay. I'm going to put this 4 here in my highest place, my greatest place. I'm going to put this 6 in the next highest place. I'll put this 7 in the next highest place. And then finally, I'll put the 9 
and that gives me an answer of 4,679. Well, that's great, except it's the wrong answer. Sometimes this will work, but unless you really know what you're doing, as often as not, you're going to come up with the wrong answer doing this. And in fact, this particular problem, this would give you the wrong answer because we just saw that the correct answer on this is 46,000. And 79, not 4,679. Two very, very different numbers. Okay, so this is a way not to do this problem. All right, let's work one more, this time with a with an obviously larger number, but we'll use the same process. Um, I'm not going to actually rewrite the problem since I've got it right here in a good place to work with. Um, Again, I'm going to write this number sentence in a vertical form so that then I can just add it up. Okay? And I'll start with my largest number here, my 4 million. And again, I want to make sure I keep one digit per column. That just helps me to keep everything straight. And then I'll cross that off. And now 800,000. And remember, I like to count zeros because I have to line this up on the right. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I have five zeros and starting on my right column. One, two, three, four, five. And then add that eight. And we'll cross that off. Now I get to 9,000. I have one, two, three zeros. So I'll go one, two, three, and then bring that nine down. And I get over here to my 20. I've got one zero. And bring that two on down. And then finally I have a two. And that two will go in the right side column. And then let's just go ahead and add these up. Starting on my right side column, I have 0, 0, 0, 0, and 2. Of course, that adds up to 2. And I'll find the sum of my next column. 0, 0, 0, and 2 is 2. Here I've got 0, 0, and 0. So of course, that adds up to 0. 0, 0, and 9 gives me 9. 0 and 0. It gives me zero. Zero and eight is eight. And then finally four. There's nothing in this column left to add to it, so I'll go ahead and put the four. And I put my commas in. And we can see that this number in standard form is 4,809,022. So just remember to keep your columns straight. Don't try the lazy man's mistake that I showed you a minute ago. Um, and you'll find that these standard or these expanded form to standard form problems are actually very, very simple. Um, I hope you've got help if that's what you came here for. Um, I'll put a link page up here in just a moment with some links to other math topics related to this that might also be helpful to you. Um, and I hope you can stick around for a couple minutes and watch the silly little cartoon at the end. Thank you.